Hello everyone. Well, in this video, I'm going to discuss about session based authentication mechanism. So let us consider the example of Gmail application. When user log in into the application, a session get created. During this session, user can perform operation in the application, such as in case of Gmail, user after login can send the mail, read his existing mail or delete a mail. This session will get destroyed once user log out from the application. And after that, user cannot do any operation on the application. So this brings up the question that what is a session? Session, you can consider it as time frame, which get created once user log in into the application. This time frame become invalid once user log out from the application. There is one more case under which this time frame become invalid is that is session timeout. So assume that you log in into the application and after some time you just kept it idle. That means you're not doing anything. In this case, the session become idle and after certain duration of time, automatically it will time out, which will cause the session to terminate. So this brings up another question that how server tracks the session information. The answer to that question is using the session ID. So assume there is a client and there is a server. First, the client will send the request with username and password to the server. After that, server will authenticate the user and create a session and store that session information in the server memory. Then it is going to respond back to the client with a session ID in the form of cookies. After that, client is going to use the session ID in all its subsequent requests which are being sent to the server. So once the server receives the request, it is going to extract the cookie to get the session information and based on that, it is going to respond back to the client. So this is how entire session based authentication mechanism work.